All right, this is a little difficult to understand. So let's go over it. So we have something called agent, AI, agent. And then we have workflows, AI, workflows. Now, I don't make any of this up. So it's just what the nomenclature they've decided to use. So what do we have here? We have a simple LLM call. LLM is a large language model. Chat, GBT, you know, you know by now. We've got the input. Uh, let's say, write me something. You pass that to the LLM. It writes you something and spits out the output. All right, very straightforward. The LLM, you know, he is the brain. He is the brain of both the agent and the workflow. All right, he's the brain. All right, simple shit. Next, we have the AI agent. We have input. Here is our brain, the LLM, and we have an output. Now we have something called tools. These tools allow the agent a lot of variability. Right? The agent can decide to use this tool and this tool, but not that tool, or it could decide to use all three, or it could decide to use none. This what makes an AI agent is dynamic, dynamic, right? There's some level, I hate to use this word, but let's, let's just do it. There's some level of thinking here, thinking, again, not thinking like you and I, thinking in terms of computers, thinking through the options in order to solve the problem before presenting you with the output. All right, so the, this dynamic thing is going to help you. Watch. So. Now we move to the AI workflow, right? It's called a workflow. Now, wait a minute. We have, we have a tool here. Didn't we just say tools? Well, no. This is linear. Remember what I said the other thing was? The other one was dynamic. And this really, he really defines, he defines the AI agent, right? He defines it. This linear, even though we're using tools, it is not an AI agent, because this linear flow can only go in one direction. It can only do what we tell it. It must take the input. It must use this tool. The LLM gets this, and it says, I don't, I don't have any tools. I don't have anything to access. I must give it to this tool. It must go here next, and then it has to go to the output, all right? So definitely a little confusing. I don't, the, I have no idea why they do that. The nomenclature makes it really confusing. So just remember that we have AI agents, right? We have AI agents, think dynamic, dynamic, right? And then we have AI workflows, work, uh, workflows, and think linear. And a lot of times the answer to your problem is, is going to be this. Much of the time, you're not going to need an AI agent to solve your problem when a workflow is going to work. All right. So keep that definition in mind, and it's going to help you move forward, I promise. Oh, don't forget, head down to the comment section, the comment section. I've got a really interesting article tomorrow, and why I'm probably going to choose the Azure tool. Well, actually, yeah, it is Azure. Azure's uh, AI Foundry. AI Foundry, AI Foundry tool, that's Foundry, I can't spell, you know that. AI Foundry to teach how to build agents. And the article lays out why I would do that when I have Google, and Google's, you know, the, the ADK is probably better. Well, the article spells out why, and it will make sense when you read the article. 